What's up everybody, I am Cubastic. On this channel we usually solve the puzzles, deal with the impossible tasks, but today I want to show you a cool life hack. How to make chocolate, the simple bar of chocolate, endless. There is a small math trick, even geometric trick. While I'm explaining, I'll open the chocolate, thanks to which we can achieve a result of infinity. Only just a little amount of people know this. Although earlier this was very popular, and I'll show you an example of a bar of chocolate. We have ordinary bar of chocolate, and let's count its size. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 for 4 cells. Its weight is about 75 grams, but it isn't important. We will focus on its size. So there are 6 cells of chocolate and 4 cells of chocolate. After certain manipulations, we will have one additional cell. To do this, please take a chocolate bar, take a ruler, you will need it. Take also a knife, if possible an utility knife, to make it more convenient to cut and repeat attentively after me. So, firstly, what we need to do is to find the middle of the chocolate. The middle is here. So, the first cut would pass under the central part. So, I mean uh, from uh, this corner to the middle plus one cell up to this corner. So, we count off three from this side, three from this side in the middle and here we count off four and two from this side. Then we are drawing an imaginary line. Approximately, we will have a cut like this and try to cut this chocolate bar precisely and accurately as possible. So, ouch! Not a bit precisely, so make it very accurately, otherwise it may just not work. Many people don't believe that uh, thanks to some mathematical, geometric or some other solutions, it is possible to come to the infinity. That is to make the final object infinite. For example, there are tasks such as uh, how to get down from the 100 meter cliff using the 50 meters rope. There are also work these rules. Today in this video I will prove you that you can solve incredible things and make them useful for yourself only thanks to the knowledge about puzzles. So, for some reason or other, it is being cut entirely. I hope that everything worked out well. So, not very precisely, but approximately in such way. And now a chocolate is cut like this diagonally. And the next step which we need to do is one additional cut along this line on the top piece. Like this. So, this piece we don't need for now and we have to cut in such way. We take a ruler and do it as accurately as possible. Again, I repeat, you will be able to do the same as mine if you repeat very thoughtfully. So, one, two, three, four. I don't know why I'm counting these cuts, I do it just to do it. Well, cool. Okay, that's what we have got. Here are three such pieces. For now we won't have regard to that the chocolate is crumbling and it is changing its weight and size and all the rest. These all are trifles. As before we have a chocolate, but now it's a bit in a cut form. And now I will show you a little trick. If we reshuffle these two elements, this is going here, and this one here. We have an extra piece left. We can cut this off. And now, if you look closely at this chocolate bar, we have a chocolate bar with such size as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, for one, two, three, four, six, for four. So we have 24 pieces, as they were, they remained. But herewith we have one additional 25th 
piece of chocolate. Enjoy this life hack. Endless chocolate, it works. You can repeat this as many times as you want, and you will get a wall chocolate bar with an additional piece from the wall chocolate bar. Awesome life hack, and now I'll go to make some tea. Guys, of course, of course there won't be a free chocolate. It is all possible to say a joke. One big joke. Nevertheless, it works. If you believed me and have already run to the store for the chocolate, write it down in the comments. In fact, uh, one second, I shall have chewed. Can I have to? Sure, you can have some. In fact, the paradox of endless chocolate has been very popular for several years on YouTube, internet, in the mathematic publics and other places. Earlier, several years ago, it was very popular. Current joke, whatever it was. And many really checked and didn't understand that, in fact, it is a trick. In fact, that volume of the chocolate that I have eaten is hidden here in this incision. Despite the fact that the sizes 4 for 6 leaf, we have such a big hole from which we actually got these small pieces. And if we repeat the same again, that means to cut here. Ow! Almost got it. It broke off a little bit earlier. Here we go. Not so perfect. We will swap again and we will have the same chocolate. 4, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there we'll have left an additional piece. But if we cut off again, now you notice that the hole become wider. If we cut off one more additional piece... Damn, it's breaking. I have one additional piece and we will move. We will still have a chocolate. 1, 2, 3... 4... 5, 6. So, after three pieces, we get rid of wall big piece in the middle. To get say to say three elements of chocolate. In general, guys, that is all trick. Small mathematic trick with which you can prank. You can prank not only your friends, parents. You can even show this paradox to your math teacher. I'm sure you will get an excellent mark from me. By the way, I promised you to give a chocolate. Take it. You will never have a free pieces of chocolate. Free can only be a subscription to this channel. Subscribe, firstly because it's for free, it's possible and your chocolate will never be endless. But I will endlessly release videos on this channel regularly once or twice a week. Advisably put a bell, not to miss the next videos in which I will complete real impossible puzzles. Write in the comments right now, what do you think about this secret? Does it look truly? Is it possible to cheat people that way? Or it's even impossible, I just don't know what was your first reaction when I showed you an endless piece of chocolate. Write down in the comments how you reacted, did you believe or not? I'll be so happy to read your comments. And also, you can try to prank your friends. Bye everyone and have a good time! A chocolate without sugar. Who buys a free sugar chocolate? <laughs>